Hello, I'm audible. Okay. So we just get started now because uh, like three minutes later and I don't see any more people joining. So hi, good evening everyone. I welcome you to the workshop on Git and GitHub Basics, organized by Angel Heart Campus Hub, CS Modern College of Engineering School. Uh, we are also having, along with me, I'm also having part today, Anina Jadav and Nishodan. And Safi could not join us because of certain uh, problems on his side. So before we get started, uh, can I just know in the comment section, how was your day? Like, I know it's a weekend right now. I mean, it's almost a weekend. So like, just, can I just know in the chat section, how's your weekend going? Like, weekend just starting. Come on guys, the chat section should always be alive. Okay, Okar says nice. Okay, I understand you, you have just uh, come like from your lectures right now and you're, and you're like tired. But this is something I want you all to be uh, very active. So I'm asking this because I want to know if your people are with me or, uh, or not from the starting itself. A lot of people. What he says good. He says good. Okay. So in today's session, we're going to be. Um, I'll be briefing you all about Git and GitHub, and why we use Git, why we use GitHub, and you know, uh, why is it in use all across the world? Why is it so famous? So I just share my screen and then. Uh, We'll get started. I hope my screen is visible. That's my voice. And then, uh, Park, can you confirm is my voice uh, breaking in between? Yeah, it's kind of breaking a bit. It's just a little grainy. Am I audible clearly now? Yeah, now it's clear. Okay. So I hope even my screen is visible. And we just get started. So in today's session, we'll be covering the following topics. The topics will be Git, GitHub, difference between Git and GitHub. And in the end, we'll also be hosting your our first web page in just a few easy steps. Now, here it will be yours because I have hosted a lot of pages on GitHub. And in fact, my portfolio is on GitHub also. So, but I'll be keeping it fun and interactive with you all. Okay. So does anyone have any idea what Git is or what GitHub is? Or you must have come across this term and since you all are in college right now. Can anyone tell me what Git and GitHub is? Or can anyone tell me what it relates to? Yeah, it's very easy to share codes on GitHub. Uh, kind of correct. Anyone, any more answers? Web development. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by web. Okay, if you mean that you can add code of web development into GitHub, then okay, then in that way you're right. Version, yes, it's a version control system, Mujib. We can contribute to others' project. Absolutely right, Aditya. Anyone, any more answers?
yes absolutely correct it's an open source platform cool so we all we are having different answers from different people some say it's a version control system it's an open source platform we can contribute to projects and we can share codes on github very easily uh, perfect so i just give my definition of or the right definition of what git is okay so as stated by one of our members over here that git is a open source version control system if you're thinking what a version control system is is it basically is a software tool that helps the developers to be you know be updated with their codes let's say i'm working on some code right now on some project and i have made changes to the code right now okay so only i and the software will know that these certain changes have been made but let's say that my friends let's say ananya parth or yashudin or they want to know what changes have been made so that is where git and github that is where git comes into place that is where they'll get to know that this number of changes or the or these changes have been made in my my folders okay and so yeah the version control system helps us uh, like you know be updated with whatever modifications have been done by you know software developers and engineers basically and the code is designed to be accessible to everyone okay as one of our friends members had also stated that you can contribute to projects easily and like share codes easily so the code is designed to be accessible to everyone and anyone can view or change or distribute the code amongst themselves okay so git and github is uh, uh, these are basically the platforms uh, which are widely used during hackathons now when i had talked about hackathons in the first session of angel hack i had told you that we have work on certain big pieces of code and then a lot of people are working on the same code at the same time so that is where it actually happens git is the place where uh, you know a lot of people are working at the same place at the same time on the same code so you can view what others code is you can make changes to it you can you know distribute the task among yourselves and get it done in in less time right and version control also known as source control is the practice for tracking and managing changes to software code okay and these systems are used to take snapshots snapshots of your files whenever you reach a certain point okay so what git basically does is it takes a snapshot i mean a photo like this okay like we take photos i'm very sure that uh, uh, since i'm connected with a lot of you people on instagram and linkedin i see a lot of people talking about photography and clicking photos of sunsets and sunrise and you know flowers and all such so if you're thinking that if that snapshot is the same as this one yes you're actually right the only thing the only difference will be is what i'll, I'll tell you later so now snapshot is basically over here is what git does okay. any changes in your code git takes a snapshot of that particular change and it informs the software that this particular change or this particular modification has been done by the person let's say the person in my case over here i am gorif so git will tell the system that gorif has made a change to this particular software or this or to this particular software code okay and as i actually said that these systems are used to take snapshots of the files so that's what i've actually conveyed right now and yes it is a practice for tracking and managing changes to software code okay i guess that that is self explanatory <clears throat> okay so i have this one question in my mind can anyone tell me the application git or the application github has been made using which language can anyone tell me it has been made using which language any guesses i won't ask you for the explanation you just have to tell me if like c++ okay you are almost there c++ okay it might be the correct answer i won't reveal the right answer over here i want you all to also you know write some i hope you didn't google the uh, answer 
Okay, I have see a lot of people answering me. If you actually knew what, if you actually knew the answer to it, that's well and good. If you didn't, I want you all to go on Google and check why and like how GitHub, you know, like use C language and develop the platform. Okay. Cool. <laughs> So when I say, when I said in the previous slide that you, you literally take a snapshot, okay? You take us, uh, not I, uh, sorry, Git literally takes a snapshot of any changes that have been made in your code, okay? So can anyone tell me what is the technical term for a snapshot over here? I repeat my question. Can you guess what is the technical term for a snapshot? I mean, the technical term which you will be using in Git and GitHub ahead. Right, uh, right, Samir. It will be comment. So, any more, any more answers? Anyone, any more answers? Anyone who's got a different answer? All right, cool. So as Samir has rightfully said that, and also one thing, uh, the team is noting down the points, Ananya and Yashodhan and Parth, they are noting down, they're noting down who all are giving the right answers. And for every right answer or for every quick answer, right answer, you will be getting 10 points, okay? And these 10 points will later be added to your, you know, quiz that is happening in the end. And the one who stands out to be the winner will be eligible for one of the prizes that we are giving away. Okay, so that's all. So the main thing that I want to emphasize over here is be please be active throughout the session. Okay, it's going to be fun, and uh, we'll try not to keep it as boring as your college lectures. Okay. Okay, so we've seen a lot about. Theory. Okay. Just for my sake of understanding, type yes in the comment section if you are with me. Yes in the comment section if you are with me. Come on. There are a lot of people in the meeting. I should not be seeing less number of yeses over here. But I know a lot of people right now from the feedbacks and you know sessions are delivered before. So I know who's not responding. <clears throat> the team is also knowing who is not responding. All right. Thank you so much for the lovely response. Okay. So before we get started, a lot of you, uh, majority of you people will be on Windows. Uh, okay. But if you're on uh, Linux or Mac, You have this, if you're on Windows right now, you have this uh, option for get bash, okay? Get bash, you, you right click and you get this option for get bash. Okay. And if you're on uh, Mac or Linux right now, you get, when you right click, you get the option of open in terminal. Okay, but some of you all might not be having how to install git, okay? So this is very simple. What you have to do is, you have to uh, say git download, okay? And you go here. To click on this download button, download for Windows. And if you're on Mac, Mac, voila. So download for Windows if you're on Windows and Mac if you're on Mac. And once it downloads, you're good to go, okay? So is anyone here with me who has, uh, you know, Git already installed on their software? like on their machine, on their PC. Who all have Git installed on their uh, personal machines? Okay, does anyone have Git installed? Okay, Mujib has, anyone? Caution has, okay. It's just a simple download. You just have to click on the download button and then it like 
it gets downloaded within like five ten minutes, depending on your internet connection. <coughs> cool. Okay, we're getting we're getting a lot of yeses. So when you right click, and you get this option for git bash. Okay, so git bash is basically the command line of your of your like you know of of GitHub basically. So this is from where you will be telling the computer to be you know to execute these certain tasks, to create these projects, to create these folders and everything. Okay, so we'll just get started. Okay, now. I advise you all to have a pen and paper to keep your notebook or whatever designs you make for making notes, because these commands and these because these commands are going to be highly helpful and you know in use for you guys when you you know start working on codes and start using GitHub. Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. Download Git Bash from here. Thank you so much. So um, the first command we're looking at is pwd, okay? So pwd will give me my current path, it will give me my current location. Now, since I've opened the git bash from my desktop, it will show me that my current location is desk desktop, okay? Uh, it can be different in yours. If you have registered as your name, it should have given, let's say, Gaurav slash desktop, okay? So the first one is pwd. Second is let's go on ls. Okay, so ls is basically short term for lists, and is and it basically lists all the folders and files you have in that particular location. Now, since I am in the um, since I am in the location desktop right now, and when I hit enter, it will give me all the items that are present in desktop right now, and these are all the items I have. Okay, I'm starting from CJ practical codes to DSC series. Okay. So when I hit enter, get a you know, a whole I'll just max my see. So I get a, a whole list of folders and files I have. So and it's actually arranged alphabetic alphabetically. So it starts from A and goes all the way till W. Okay. Cool. So, so far we have studied about two commands. One is PWD and the second one is LS. Now, <clears throat> what is the usual way of creating folders? If you, if I want to create a folder on my desktop, what I usually do is right click and then go to new and then create something like folder. Okay. And that is what something people do a lot, like normal people do. But we being engineers, we but engineers to be, we want to you know do something cool, cool things and so that's not what I want to do. But just in case, I'll just open this folder, and take this to the right side, and I'll take my <coughs> want this for now. I'll just open my get bash. is to uh, the clear command is to clear all the uh, previous actions that have been carried out on your terminal okay or on your git bash cool so to create a new uh, folder in my desktop as currently i'm in the part desktop i'll be using the command mkdir which stands for make directory okay i'll repeat again M mkdir stands for make directory so this command will help you in you know forming a new in, in like creating a new uh, folder so if i say mkdir uh, space the uh, project the folder name i'll go say and i'll say like github basics okay and here you can see that the folder github basics has been formed i hope you can see this okay it's time that I try a split screen. I can actually explain it to you easily. Cool. 
now we have only created the uh, folder github basics okay now currently if you see in the right if you see in the right side uh, i am currently inside the folder github basics but if you see in the left side i'm not i'm i've only created the uh, folder now if i want to go inside the folder github basics what i'll do is i'll use the command cd the cd stands for change directory change directory okay now change directory and i'll go to since i want to go inside the folder github basics i'll write cd space github basics and now i'm inside the folder github basics okay <coughs> now obviously you cannot see anything inside the folder because we haven't added anything okay now to let's say i want to create a folder <coughs> or rather a file inside the inside the folder get a basics okay so what i'll do is i'll use the command touch and let's say this is something like top other object top dot txt okay and when i hit enter right so you can see in the right hand side that a new file that in dot txt file has been created okay i haven't done anything like you know creating a new file like going like this and creating a new folder something like that i haven't done anything like that everything i'm doing i'm doing it from the terminal or the get bash okay <coughs> sorry now let's say i want to edit some thing in this so I'll write hello everyone I'll just save it and it's here. Cool. So far, we have seen like five commands. The first command was pwd, which gives you the uh, current directory. Now, if I run pwd here, it will give me the location that I'm in, that I'm inside a folder named GitHub Basics, which is inside the desktop. Okay. Now, ls will give me the list of items inside that particular folder. So for now, it will give me git github.txt. The third command we saw was mkdir, which is to make a directory, to, to create a project or to create a folder. The fourth one was cd, that is change directory, uh, or in simpler terms, to go inside that particular folder. And the fifth one was touch and the file name. So touch is basically to create uh, you know, whatever files or folders you want to have inside that specified folder. Okay. So, so far, so good. <coughs> Now, uh, I have added some text in my .txt file. Now, if I run, if I type a command, let's say git edit, okay? It says that I've initialized an empty git repository in this particular location. .get, perfect. And so .git, so git init what basically it does is it initializes an empty git repository okay if you're thinking what repository is this like bhaiya kya keh rahe, repository kya hai i'll come on to that when i i'll come on to that uh, when i start explaining what github okay for now repository is basically a folder in which your files are saved or like a big folder okay like where your codes and like your information and documentation is stored and Let's say I want to, but along with this .git folder, there are also certain hidden files. Okay, now I want to see what hidden files are over there. Now I have the, I have this command called ls and space just hyphen a and a here stands for all. Okay, and when I run this command, <coughs> I get to see that there's one, you know, a .txt file and there's one hidden folder dot get okay and if you want to see what lies inside the dot get folder you have this uh, you just have to go inside the get folder right so the command for that is cd space dot get okay so now you are currently inside the dot get folder and if i want to see what is inside the dot get folder right now okay so if you click on here you see that you have these things like hooks info objects refs config description head okay I want to see on my 
terminal and my git bash that what exactly is there inside the dot git folder so i'll run the command ls -a. now the reason why i didn't use ls is because since dot git is a it happens to be a hidden folder okay now if i run ls it, it will give me an error okay so that is why i've used ls hyphen a so that it will give me all the uh, you know files that i have inside the dot git folder okay I'll just clear it again. Uh, rather than clearing, I'll just uh, revise it again. <coughs> so get init is basically to initialize an empty Git repository in that particular location. So my particular location was Git GitHub Basics, okay? And CD is change directory again. So I've, since I wanted to go inside the directory dot Git, I have used the command CD, okay? And ls is ls stands for list as you all as you all know about it. But the reason why we've used hyphen a over here is because it displays us all the hidden uh, you know files and documents we have inside the dot git folder. And here I've and here I've ran ls hyphen a again because I want to see what lies inside the dot git folder. Okay. And now I'll just clear it all so that it's visible to you. <coughs> So if I run get in it again, there's nothing. Okay. Get in it, we have initialized an empty get repository. And uh, there's nothing, there's this another uh, there's another. Nothing wrong. And let's say that I want to save my file. Okay, I've already saved my file, but before before we move ahead, I want to I want you all to visualize this thing. I mean these these examples, okay? We go this one, this little example. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so in this slide in front of you, you've got three boxes. One is the working directory, the second one is the staging area, and the third one is the Git repository, okay? Now, currently, we have a file that is named as get something.txt. Okay, so that is our file one. Don't think like you can have only two files, you can have n number of files inside your repository, inside your folder. But just for, just for the sake of this example, I've taken two, uh, I've taken two examples file one and file two. So let's assume that our .txt file is file one. Okay, and it currently is inside the working directory. And the working directory over here is the GitHub Basics folder. Okay. With that being said, uh, I want to move these two files. So these, uh, I want to move these two files from my working directory to a staging area. Okay. So let's say this is the working directory I have. This is the staging area, and this is the Git repository. Okay. And from my working directory, I want to send my files to the staging area. Okay, so for that, I'll be using two commands. The, the, the two commands are get add and get comment. Okay, and with the help of those two commands, I'll be able to send my files from the working directory to the staging area and from the staging area to the get, get repository. Okay, <coughs> cool. So if we come back to our example of taking a snapshot, yeah, this one, like. Uh, a snapshot. So when you click a photo, you just don't click like it jumps a key sign. Like uh, you just don't like uh, click on the shutter button as soon as possible, right? You like take a focus. So that focus over here is what Git does. Git first focuses on the files that have been you know specified by the user. So let's say I want to add the dot txt file. So Git will first focus on the .txt file. So it focuses on the file and it will then comment it, okay? So when you click a photograph, uh, like before clicking the photograph, you first focus on the object. Let's say I want to click a person. So I first, I'll, I'll first you know, focus on the person and then I'll click, okay? So the focus over here is Git add and the clicking over here is Git comment, okay? I hope that is clear. So if you can see over here that get add is to add files from working directory to staging area. Simple as that. This 
no hard science over here. Rocket science, sorry. And Git commit is to add the file stream staging area to Git repository, okay? So you will be more familiar with it when we come on to sort when we come on to like you know uh, adding files when you're working directly to staging you know, to the get repository ahead. Now, <clears throat> with that being said, let us move on. Let us move on to the uh, practical example. <coughs> okay. Now I just go back. So I've initialized an empty Git repository in my folder. And I have this, I have these, I have this file dot txt. Okay. And I want to add it from my working directory to the staging area. This is the working directory, GitHub basics. Okay. So in the in the PPT over here, you can see it's git add. Okay. Git add. So I'm like I use the command git. Add it. Okay. Is there something wrong? Oh, get add, get. Uh, okay, fine. Then let's create a new project again. I don't know why it's working. Just a second, guys. I hope you are also practicing it with me, like making the new projects and everything. Is there anything in the chat section? Oh, right. I was in dot get. Okay, fine. I'm highlighting some here. We have the whole of GitHub basics and the whole lot touch. Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't go inside the. Oh. We have this folder, and I'll do one. So, so we've initialized. Single here that we've initialized an empty get repository in this particular location. Okay. Now and the dot get folder has come up come up over here. Now I want to <coughs> sorry, I'm still inside the dot get folder. So I want to go one, I, I want to go one level up. So I use the command cd space dot dot. So it goes one level up. Oops. Okay, I was already inside the GitHub basics, so I'm still going inside the GitHub basics. Cool. And I've initialized the repository get init. Okay, it's already there. So I'll I'll add git add git dot txt. Why okay, huh? It, uh, now <coughs> Uh, file that is git.txt has been sent from the working directory to the staging area. Okay. Now, what will happen is if I run this command called git status, and it will tell me that on the branch master, no commits yet, and changes to be committed are these ones. Okay. There's a new file and git.txt. And I've successfully added the .txt file to the uh, staging area. And now I want to commit it, okay? So it will be like git commit minus n. So I'll just explain it. And this, so git is the command. Commit is to 
add the you know the files from the staging area to the git repository okay and minus and so this has to come when you are committing a file from the staging area to the git repository and in the quotation over here what you do is you add a, a message because if i come if i happen to come back to this repository one year later i need to know what what changes i have made to this folder okay so for now there's nothing in the folder just you know hello everyone but there are like tons of there are like thousands of uh, folders like thousands of uh, files will be working on uh, when you become an engineer so that is why you need to it's not it's not mandatory but it's for the uh, for like a better practice you need to have some message inside the quotations okay and it says that okay and the zoom so it says that in the initial comment one file has been changed in the three insertions and so our file has actually reached you know so our file has been you know our sorry i'll just come again so our file has uh, traveled from github basics the folder then it went to the staging area and from the staging area it went to the git repository okay now i'll just create another file let's say touch uh it have the txt so we have another file over here git under txt let's open it again and let's say hello everyone Save it. And I... Okay, so I've already initialized the repository, so there's no need for doing it in it. And touch, you can do this n number of times to create n number of new files you want. Okay, and get add I'll do and I'll do get hub dot ts. Okay, so my file has currently traveled from working directly to the staging area. <coughs> I mean, it's on its way. Okay, and I'll run the command get status. So this is it gives me the same uh, message again. Like here, you you can see it on the branch master in the commit set and change to the commit. And here you can see the same thing except that the file has been changed. Okay. Now what if I create some changes like approximately 50 participants or participants? Now I know that I have made certain changes in the dot in the get.txt file. Get GitHub knows that, okay, but since I've already added the file from my, you know, working directly to the Git repository, uh, can anyone guess or like, can anyone tell me, will there be any, uh, you know, changes in the uh, get.txt file? Will I have to go through the same process again to, uh, you know, send my get.txt file from working directory to staging area to the uh get repository or 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 i'll only have to work for the github.txt okay any guesses as well not looking for any right answers <coughs> only for the specific file this will get dot txt okay <coughs> So I'll also add this file, get add dot. Now, if you have, let's say if you have like 10 files over here, if you have like 10 files over here, sorry, what do you, what do you do? I have 10 files over here and rather than just writing the names over here, let's say, so this is command called get space add space dot, okay, sorry, is dot. And when you hit enter, all the files that you have inside the, you know, your uh, folder will be added to the, uh, will be on their way to the staging area. 
Dafa it Navina uh use the command with status. <coughs> Here I guess you can use cursor. Okay, there's no cursor. Okay, so I hope you can see this. So after I have ran the command get status, it tells me that on the branch master changes to be committed. And it tells me that the .txt file has been modified and there's a new file that is github.txt, okay? So now git knows that Gaurav has made certain changes to the file .txt. And there is also a new file that it has to transfer from the staging area to the git repository, okay? Now, after I've done git add, I'll be using the command git commit um, and add a message that Let's say second comment on it. And it will tell me that two files have been changed. There have been six insertions, one deletion. Okay. And when I run this command, now all my files have been transferred from the this is second. So all my files have basically been transferred from the, uh, you know, the working repository that is the GitHub basics to the Git repository. Okay. Now when I so when I uh, run the command git status, then tell me that on the branch master there's nothing to commit, and the working tree is clean. Okay. So if you're thinking what this working tree is. We'll come on to that when we actually see what when we lack when we actually come on to what GitHub is. Okay. So yeah. So far, anyone has any doubts? Any doubts, people? No, you can go ahead and ask about the doubts. Uh, Function of add. Okay, so okay to add the files. I just clear it again. So let's say I create another file. <coughs> uh, GitHub one dot txt. Okay, so I've create, created another file GitHub one dot txt. There's some code, rather not rather like having some code inside it. I'll just keep it blank, okay? And I'll do git add one dot txt. Cool. So I believe this was your doubt, Omkar. You want me to continue from here? Okay, then what is it? Doubt. <laughs> Repository part again. Uh, which part exactly are you talking about? Like uh, sending my files from the staging area to the Git repository? Okay, so fine, I'll just cover it with this example, okay? And <clears throat> so I have this new file that is github onetxt and I've added this github onetxt file from my working directory to the staging area, okay? And when I run the command git status, it tells me that on the branch master, changes to be committed. And it tells me that there's this new file, okay? That is GitHub one dot txt. So so far the file has traveled from the working directory to the staging area. Okay, process basically the file is going to be processed right now. Okay, and I'll use this command git comment and the same. Let's say I've added the first that's added the first. 
it says that this file that is github1.txt has been changed with zero insertions and zero deletions. Why? Because we did not really add anything inside the file here. And with the help of git add and git commit, with the help of these two commands, I have been successfully been able to add my files from the working directory to the git repository. Okay. I hope that solves your doubt. I mean, if this was a doubt, doubt, if this was a doubt. Okay, so git add dot command. So let's say if I have like this data touch. So Omkara, let's say I have this these two files over here. I want to add them, but I don't want to add them one by one. I want to add them all together. So I use the command git add space dot. Okay, so dot will all together add all the files to the staging area. Okay. So all my files are in the staging area right now. Just clear this so that it's visible. And when I say get status, it will tell me that changes to be commented are these, and these two files are to be, you know. Uh, sent from staging area to the Git repository. Okay. So dot specializes the selecting all the files all together. Okay, cool. Anyone, does anyone have any doubts? I know yes anything in the chat section so that I know that I can go ahead. <coughs> okay, how to comment? Cool. Uh, so see here that I've added the two files that is GitHub two dot txt and GitHub three dot txt. Uh, I want to comment these two files now. Okay, so I just say that get comment minus m so this command over here stays the same for everything you do for anything you do okay and here comes the message or anything that you want to add inside the you know repository <coughs> so inside this get comment <coughs> message i just added So this is it, two files changed again, zero insertions, zero deletions. I hope that solves it out. Like git comment will only send the files from the staging area to the uh, git repository. Here. So with the help of git add, I sent all my files, you know, github one, two, three, txt to the staging area. And with the help of get comment, I sent all my files from the staging area to the get repository. Okay. So it's just like focus and click. Focus is to get add and click is to get comment. It's as simple as that. Cool. Okay. So we have talked about get and let's see if I'm missing one. Any doubt? Okay. Who is there anyone over here who has installed Git or Terminal right now during the session, like when I have told you to? <clears throat> okay, Wayne has done. Anyone? Any more people? Okay, cool. So as of now, maybe in your Git repository, the name and the email might not be registered. Okay, If you have a GitHub account and if it is connected with your GitHub account, it will automatically be authenticated. But if it's not, what you can do is, there's this command called git config, okay, global, user.name. And let's say you enter your name over here. Okay, minus, minus already entered, okay? So if you run this command, get 
config config is to configure and global is like if you know about what global scope and what local scope is that the you will understand this so if global is like if you when you declare it globally uh, your username will be uh, you know set in the git dash or the terminal for as long as you use it okay and user dot name this is the way you write it and inside the quotes you write your name okay so this is rather than you is have gone you hit enter then nothing happens okay but the terminal or the git bash knows that your name is that my name is gone so in your in your case it will be different okay and if you want to add the email it goes like get config user dot email and your email okay Now your email and your name has been set up in the Git. If you want to, <coughs> how do you check it? If you want to edit it, okay. If you want to edit, now let's say that I want to edit this here because it's going to be quite big. So Git config global. But will now you can see that with you I have. given the name gorif like and the email as well right now if i want to edit something from here i can simply go up there and edit now i can only do this you can only delete it editing will happen outside it okay now if i want to enter something else i'll have to delete it from here And to exit from this screen, I'll have to use the command. I'll have to use colon. Okay, not here. Just a second. Question. Why do we need to add our name and email to it? Uh, <clears throat> it's just for the sake of you know, like uh, you have an account, okay? Let's say you have an Instagram account and you have your name, like you have a username and you have your password. So just for the sake of that, that Git knows, or like the software tool knows that this person is you know like adding questions or like making these changes. so it needs to know that whatever changes have been made by this particular person just for that nothing else and when you are and now that i have uh, added my you know files from the git repository sorry from the working directory to staging area to the git repository and when i will be and when i'll be publishing it online on the git repository there there will be thousands of people who will be looking at my code so they need to know which person and like who has done those particular edits from there right so yeah that's all <laughs> let me see how i can i hope that solves it out wait something now what you are Fine. Thankfully, so if I want to exit from this window here, I'll write colon and wq. Okay, so if thankfully I've exited from the screen that was shown before, and that's how you can actually add your name and email to the get to the software tool. Now, if you want to see what was the first comment or what was the first. uh changes you made what was the latest change you made you have this command called git log okay so this is set by this is set by default my name and my email since they are already connected with my github account <coughs> i don't know what i hope the i hope the time is right yes so at around 6 18 i added my first comment <coughs> 
I mean, after I cleared the, the four sections, okay, and somewhere around 6.21, I made my latest comment. That is like seven minutes before, okay? So that is it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you want to exit from the screen over here, you have to press the, uh, you know, the letter Q. And let's show it again. So you get known. I'm inside this. Now, if you hit enter and enter it again, you'll see these things coming up again. <clears throat> but if you also want to look at the uh, logs that happened before, you can just like, click enter, enter, enter. You can see the logs that have happened before. So six at six zero nine was my the earliest comment. Okay. The initial comment which I did. I want to enter from. If I want to exit from here, I'll uh, I'll click the letter Q. Let's enter. I have exited from the screen. Okay. So I think that went in a haste, in a hurry. So if anyone has any doubts, you can please ask. And I feel that it went in a hurry, so you can just ask us. <coughs> Okay, anyone, anyone any doubts? Yes, no, anything in the chat section? Okay, I can see you two people active. Okay. So we've covered about Git and next, let me just see if we have anything next. I'm just even though you all are saying that you don't have any doubts, I'll I'll still explain what exactly is happening inside the Git repository. Okay. So <coughs> yes, yes, you can we do that. Uh uh sir, can uh, some participants share the screen like during the meet? Yes, okay, cool. After this, we'll ask certain participants to share the screen, okay? So even though that uh, a lot of your people have said that you don't have any doubts, but just if you have any doubts coming in, I'll just solve it as to what exactly is happening inside the Git repository, okay? Now, <laughs> here, when you had uh, seen that the files are going from the working directory, to the staging area and from the staging area to the get repository okay so <clears throat> i have in the initial comment when i had sent the first file that is git.txt it went somewhere here okay and then i sent another file then i sent another file so i believe i have sent around five files in my get repository okay and i have also made certain changes in the first two folders in the initial comment and the second comment okay and so this is how basically my comments or my repositories or my files will be, you know, placed inside the Git repository over here. Okay. So the first file will go and then the second file and third file. That way, n number of files will go as long as the user wants to enter it inside the Git repository. Okay. Now, every comment that you make is a snapshot of the working repository. Absolutely right. So for every comment that I've made, in the Git repository, it basically uh, gives me what exactly has been transferred from the working directory to the Git repository. Okay. And <clears throat> secondly, there is no data multiplication. Okay. If I, let's say, <coughs> if I have made uh, rather than this, saying it and just show it. So uh, here, if I do this, I do this again. I've made no changes, right? And I save it. I say get r get dot txt, and I'll say that the get status. It, it still saves me, even though I made like even though like what I did over here was. 
I click, I did a backspace, then I enter it again in the same way. Okay. So <clears throat> even though I changed something, and when I did get add, it automatically knows that there, there have been no changes. Okay. So rather than going from, uh, from the same procedure again of doing get comment again and again, if the if there is the same data in that file, uh, it, the get will tell me that you know <clears throat> that on the branch master and there's nothing to comment. So basically, the working tree is clean, okay. And how exactly get does that? I don't know, okay. So and we don't even need to know about that. So as long as our work is getting done, all well and good, okay. So we just come back to the meeting and now we come back. Okay. So Yashodhi, your screen share was related to what? Yes, Hi, yes, are you there? <clears throat> yes, yes, I'm there. Yes, I'm there. Yeah, so uh, screen uh, like screen sharing was related to what I mean. Yeah, the people who have performed with me. Okay, okay. If they want to see the screen. Okay, we'll do that. So does anyone over here will want to you know, like share screen and want to show us whatever you've done so far and whatever you've grasped? We'll be happy to see and we'll be happy to help. Does anyone want to volunteer? You can okay, so you have this. Uh, option called more against your name and you will have to promote to panelist okay so anyone amongst the panelist will allow you to share your screen does anyone want to share the screen and show us like i'll be happy to know that uh, the attendees are able to grasp not just the theory but also the working knowledge Okay, so I believe that no one wants to do that. Come on, like we can have at least one person doing it. <clears throat> okay, cool, never mind. So, Yashodan, do we have the quiz ready for Git? Yep, yep, the quiz is ready. Okay, just drop the link in the chat section and people, we have this uh, short quiz on Git for you all. Please uh, try attending it and there has to be no cheating. Okay, we know who all is doing what because your data is, you know, compared with the registering data. After five minutes, we'll uh, continue. <laughs> or others, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I Okay, the quiz link has been dropped in the chat box. You all can start with the quiz. All the best, everyone. <laughs>
the questions are from the session, so I hope that the questions are, will be easy only. Okay, so 
I've got the responses that over 25 people have submitted the quiz. And those who are still giving the quiz right now, I ask you to please hurry up because Yashodan will be closing the link in the next five minutes. Okay. Good. So next up, we'll get started with uh, GitHub. I'll just share my screen again and just a second. Okay, so you all can see my screen and just close this and close this and just move on to my PowerPoint. So <clears throat> we have covered the part of Git and we move on to the second topic of GitHub. Okay. <coughs> so can anyone tell me what GitHub is? Like what is the platform? What GitHub does? <coughs> Saves repos, yes, absolutely correct, Samir. What else? What else come comes into your mind when you hear the word GitHub? Like Git, you all know what Git is, but Hub is basically a place, right? So what come? What exactly comes into your mind when you hear the word GitHub? Platform for storing all repositories done on Git. Absolutely correct. Absolutely right, Vidant. <clears throat> Anyone? Any more answers? Coders have been okay. That is one thing we can talk about. GitHub is a hosting service. Yes, one of its part is a hosting service. I mean, you can use the GitHub pages to host your website or whatever. You can work on a project together. Absolutely correct, Snehil. The community of Git, absolutely right. Software projects, yes. Not even software projects, you can add, you know, your document only files, but it's better we use Google Drive rather than using GitHub, right? I mean, Google Drive for documentation and GitHub for codes. So anyone, any more answers? Because we have been getting a lot of good answers from people. We can get to know our mistakes using GitHub. Mistakes. Not sure what mistakes are hi highlighting. Yes, it is open source, right? <clears throat> Okay, cool. We've got good answers from a lot of people over here. And uh, easy management of code, especially when team works together. Absolutely correct, Vedant. Now you realize the true meaning of working on GitHub when you're actually taking part in a hackathon or you're like, you know, working on projects together during your project based learning or, you know, during a competition part. <laughs> cool. So, so GitHub is like, it's made up of two terms, okay? Git and Hub. So we've already talked about the word Git, that it is a version control system. And Hub is the center of all activities, okay? So Hub is basically the place where all of your code and you know the documentation is getting stored at one place. And make big projects by breaking code into parts. Yes, right. So a version control system and the center of all activities together form the word GitHub. But if you're thinking that what exactly is GitHub, okay? <clears throat> so GitHub is a cloud-based code hosting platform for version control and collaboration. Okay. Now here the term code comes into place because 99% of the data that is uploaded on GitHub consists of codes only, okay? And we've already talked about version control. So version control system is a software tool that developers use for, you know, modifying the data and updating the data. And of course, collaboration for projects. <laughs> and n number of people can contribute to the same code at the same time. So you can have like three, four people working on the same code at that same, at that particular same time, okay? Now there are also different versions. There are also there are also different types of Git. You have GitLab, GitHub, Git Bucket, or something. But for now, since GitHub is the most user friendly and easy, 
will look into GitHub as of now. And as we proceed ahead in future, we'll be also looking at that GitLab and GitBucket. And the third point is GitHub is not Git. Okay. So if any time anyone tells you that GitHub is equal to Git, you are actually authorized to tell them that GitHub is not Git. You can straight away go and tell them to my, you know, our seniors from second year who was uh, who is an angel hack ambassador has told us that GitHub is not Git. Those two are very two different terms. Okay, so GitHub is a place where all of your, you know, code is going. Okay, I, I've been repeating this term a lot of times, but that is something you need to know because even after the session, I will have a lot of people coming up to me and saying that get is equal to get up. <coughs> yeah, just like Java and JavaScript are not the same. <laughs> okay. So get versus get up. Now, I didn't have any particular example to exactly to exactly make you all visualize the difference between Git and GitHub. You know, you all have, maybe this definition might have been fit inside your mind right now, ki Git is where the code is, like code based in, GitHub is where the code is. But maybe you still don't know what exactly is the difference, okay? So I'll just show it. This is your Git, okay? And this is your photos or albums section, okay? This is your Google Photos. Sorry for the animations. Well, I'll just do this. Okay. So just the way as Git is to GitHub, your photos is to Google Photos or iPhotos, whatever you have. Okay. So Git stores files on your local device, and the respective files are stored in cloud. Okay. So when I did those two commands of git add and git comment, I sent the files from the working directory to the staging area and from the staging area to the <coughs> uh, git repository. The same way my photos that I have inside the diary will be sent to the uh, Google to the Google photos in my case. Okay. So the pictures that are stored in my phone or tablet will be the same respective pictures will be sent to the Google Cloud, okay? So I hope this basic example gives you a clear understanding about the difference between Git and GitHub. If you're thinking the benefits of GitHub, uh, when I had posted about the GitHub ex Campus Experts program, you must have come across this page. Uh, I was talking about the GitHub Student Developer Pack, right? So, if you now, since we all have our college email IDs, if you use the college email ID, you will be able to access a lot of benefits that GitHub has for us. Okay. And that's totally free. So, one of them I remember is a Canva subscription, I believe, free for one year. Okay. I believe that's a Canva Pro subscription, and Canva Pro is absolutely amazing. Okay. So, that was one benefit. The second benefit is an easy way of collaborating with other developers. Okay. Now, when we had seen in the definition of GitHub that it's a version control and it's also used for collaboration, you work with developers. Okay. Now, in the case of my internship, which where I'm working as a React JS developer, I haven't met my two seniors. Okay. One of the seniors is from Maharashtra and the other one is from Chennai. So we just connect on calls. We like, you know, share our codes and like, you know, work on that particular whatever client needs are there for that um, particular <clears throat> website or whatever. So we work all together on that particular project. And that is how we collaborate with each other on the code or, or on the project. Okay. And second is hosting of your code. Now, if you're working in the field of web development, you can use the <clears throat> section of GitHub pages for hosting your website for free does not cost you anything again. And in fact, in my case, I have hosted a couple of websites on GitHub pages for free, my portfolios, website clones, and you know, uh, certain applications are hosted on GitHub pages. And I'm thankful for that. And 
it helps you in tracking assigning and assigning the tasks and issues in the code absolutely now when i had made changes in my github.txt file it had given me one message that modified github. get.txt if anyone had noticed that on the list so <clears throat> i mean kudos so it helps you in tracking whatever issues or whatever you know tasks have been uh, you know whatever changes have been made by that particular person for that particular code or that particular document okay and fourth one is the manageable documentation so yes in every github repository that you make uh, you get a dot md file okay so dot md file is basically a doc the documentation which you have for that particular code let's say in my portfolio i in, in my portfolio website i have in the md file that uh, i've used html css javascript and these particular technologies so that documentation will be helpful for the readers to know that <coughs> okay these particular technologies that this is what the user has used in that particular you know code and since i had mentioned about web development no web development is only GitHub supports only, uh, you know, uh, hosting web development uh, on its GitHub pages. But you can add any language ka code in your GitHub repository. It can be C++, PHP, Python, uh, C, Hash, Rust. Uh, is Rust. I don't know if Rust language, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, ReactJS, Node.js, I mean, anything, okay, anything. Anything that's related to software, it's absolutely... Uh, you can absolutely upload it on the GitHub. So I guess that leads to the end of GitHub. And <coughs> now, okay, so the chat section. Okay, who all have a GitHub account over here? Everyone in the chat section. Okay, Snail, do you have a doubt or something? Or like you've raised a hand for the GitHub account. Who all have the GitHub account? Okay, if you don't have a GitHub account, it's okay, you have the account, perfect. Yes, no, anything so that I know that a lot of people over here are having GitHub accounts. If you don't have, we can actually tell you how, you know, like create a GitHub account in like two minutes. It's as simple as creating an Instagram account. Okay, cool. So I'll just sign out. I hope I remember my password. So <coughs> you go this, you go to the official website of GitHub, that is github.com, and you have this place over here called sign up. Okay. And You enter your email over here, <coughs> which in my case will already, already be there because I've already logged in. And okay, it says that email is invalid or already taken. So my email is already taken. And then you'll have to uh, enter your email. And when you click continue, you will, you will have to enter your password. Okay, so creating a GitHub account is very easy. You just have to enter your email and your password, and boom, your, your, you have a GitHub account. Thanks sir for the for helping. <clears throat> so you can create the GitHub account from the link that has been added in the chat section. Uh, hopefully I'm able to sign in. The password will be there. Uh, I've signed in. Okay. So <coughs> to the left of my, you can see like three uh, different tabs over here. So this part, you know, this to the left of this uh, scroll bar is basically the recent activity and the you know, the repositories that you have in your GitHub account. This uh, I prefer you prefer using a personal email ID. You can also use a college mail ID. I mean, there's no difference on that. However, if you want to use the GitHub Student Developer Pack. You will have to use the college mail ID. 
Okay, so here you can uh, check out all the activity, you know, which the people you follow. So I follow all these people and these people follow me back. So I can see what activities they're doing. And at the right, you can like explore certain repositories that match according to your level of interest. So my level of interest is basically web development. So these are certain, these are some of the repositories that I have gone through in the past few days. And that is automatically updated to me. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Do you all want to create a small personal portfolio of yours? I mean, just a basic website. Okay, the benefits of making an account with college. Okay, not making an account of accessing the student developer pack. Okay, so when you're when you go to the website of GitHub. And, in, and when you enter the college email ID, you get the student developer pack for free. But if you create a GitHub account with the help of your, you know, uh, college email ID, you won't have anything, uh, this, any benefits. I mean, there's nothing, there's, no, there's nothing uh, different in that. I can see only three, four yeses. Are you not interested in making a portfolio? I mean, I'll, okay, I'll just show how the portfolio looks like. So <clears throat> it's just a basic one because not many of you people know about web development. Uh, okay, it is just made using HTML CSS. Don't worry, I'll give you the code as well. Okay, this is just it. This is the photo and uh, this is like, hello, I am Gaurav Saragi, so who are at? PS1 college engineering. And this is my GitHub account. Okay. So I can see like some people are interested. So I get started. But before creating the portfolio, we'll create a repository. Now, what I'll do first is as a repository go. Okay, so this is the this is the repository. I want you all uh, to you know like go to this website and download the repository. Okay, so when you click on like when you come onto my repository over here you have this green button called code and from here you have this option called download zip okay? so a zip folder will be downloaded <coughs> okay yeah, if anyone if you if you have a subscription well and good otherwise you'll have to extract files and let me extract these files the specified folder. Save the specified folder. Let's stop and I will get basics. So all of my files have been you know, transferred from the zip folder to the folder here. You can see over here, right? I'll just get rid of these files for now. Just for now. I mean, you can delete it from the command line as well, but for now as well. <clears throat> okay. So we have these three files over here. <coughs> and if I open my get bash now, I'm in my uh, GitHub basics folder right now. Okay. Now that has already been initialized. So I don't need to, to get in it again. And if I do get add, oh, sorry, I didn't specialize. Okay. 
and if I do get status, okay, it tells me that a new file that readme.md has been added and these files have been deleted and these two files that index.css and index.html have been added to the github basics folder okay like i had i have downloaded the zip folder right? and from the zip folder i have uh, extracted those files to my uh, folder github basics okay so then and the reason why i've extracted them is because like the folders that were already there okay i haven't created them i've only copy pasted them in a way so that is why i didn't have to create anything over here now get status please tell us this and i want to comment this so i'll say get comment minus m human so that's visible get comment minus m and let's say initial comment okay <coughs> so it says it tells us that eight files have been changed with 117 insertions eight deletions and i don't know how it's calculating that but there's, there's some logic in there okay and it tells that and it tells that the readme.md index.cs and index.html are in create mode okay so my files have now been transferred from the working directory with the and with the help of get add they have been transferred to staging area and with the help of get comment, they have been transferred from staging area to the get repository. Okay. But currently, these have on, these are on their way to the get repository right now. So what I need to do right now is uh let's go to my repository and I click on I click on this button called new. And let's say I'll write uh Workshop. So the name can be different for you all. And description. Uh, portfolio. Okay, this is the description. This is basically optional, but you can like still do this. Um, add a read file. <coughs> so as of now, uh <coughs> Your repository has been initiated, okay? And you come across these three uh, different types of sections. So the, the first one is create a new repository on the command line. If not created, uh, we have not created a repository in the command line. Uh, why is because it's kind of difficult for you guys to grasp it at one moment. So in the next session, when we will we'll be talking about open source and everything, that's where I'll be going much deeper into GitHub and how to get started with open source. Okay. So as of now, we've created a repository online <coughs> from the browser, but since there has to be some practice of you all of transferring the files from the working directory to the Git repository, this is what we'll be doing right now. Okay. So um, let's say, and just clear this so it's better. Uh -oh. <clears throat> okay, now I want to transfer my files from the working directory to the Git repository. Okay, and I've used these two terms of get add and get comment. Okay, but that is to only send them on their way it has, it has still not been it has, it has still not been accepted okay so i'll be using this command get remote add origin right origin and this will be the let's copy this link because and just to tell you that Control V does not work, uh, does not work here for the purpose of pasting. So we'll have to either right click and paste or shift plus insert. Okay. <coughs> and since we have got no errors, we uh, I know that my repositories are almost ready to you know like to be inserted inside the repository. Okay. And I'll use the command git push 
would have been master. Uh, yeah, I hope this works. Okay, so we see some weight happening, and yes, I hope that the files have been sent. And since we don't have any errors, I'll just refresh it. Perfect. So I hope you can see this that the three files that is from here index of CSS, HTML, and MD have been sent successfully from the workshop directory. Uh, sorry, to the, from the working directory to the uh, you know Git repository. Okay. So I have successfully transferred all my files from the working directory to the Git repository with the help of command line. Okay. But if you're thinking ki, this will take me a lot of time, no. This won't be taking a lot of time. In the starting, it might, but occasionally when you when you like uh, come into practice uh, with this, it hardly takes you one or two minutes to like you know add your files from the working directory to the staging area, from the staging area to the Git repository. Okay. Right. So so far so good. Any doubts, people? <coughs> Okay, there's two people active with this. Come on. I know it's like one and a half, I know it's more than one and a half hour of session, but that's where the fun lies. If we keep on, you know, keeping small sessions, then we won't be able to have fun. Okay. Now, <coughs> You can go ahead and download this repository if you want. Otherwise, you can what you can do is <coughs> and just come into let's say do, either you can uh, you know simply click on download zip and extract the files, or what you can do is you can since I'm you can clone it and I'll tell you how to clone it right now. So I'm in my location desktop right now. Okay. I'll create a new file. Let's say, let's say okay. I want to go inside the folder testing and I want to clone. Clone is basically downloading, like, clone is basically like a secure clone, go like a replica of the uh, project okay uh, so basically a replica of these three files will be saved inside the folder inside the folder testing okay so if i use the command git clone um, i rather use this okay git clone and i so it will tell me that all the files have been cloned from this uh, repository workshop portfolio and they have been transferred to the uh, folder testing okay now this now so now this folder testing lies in my uh, desktop okay so now you can see that all of the files have been transferred from the online git repository to my local machine only with the help of command line okay so i didn't have to download zip and do all that okay so you can go ahead and like either if you want to do it online, you can do it like this. And you have this option of copying the raw contents. So you can copy it from here. You can go on your Visual Studio Code or whatever the editor you use, and you can change your name. So let's say my name is Gaurav Sarangi. Okay, I'll just do it like. Like Again, I have just committed the changes right now from the uh, from the uh, I mean, I've actually done the changes from uh, the browser, but you can also do 
the same changes from the command line. Okay. You can see, and I can see that the changes have been made in the index of HTML5 16 seconds ago. <coughs> now I want to host this particular website. Okay. So I'll go to this page called settings. And okay, on the left side, you can see there's this section called pages. Okay. So when you click on pages, you get a heading called GitHub pages. And inside the source area, you have to click on this, you have to select the master branch. So make sure that all of your repository, all of your folders are, have been added un, under the master branch so that it's easy for, you know, the system to make sure that all the repositories are well and good. You know, like basically it's, it's easy for the uh, system to track all the files. Okay, it says the site is ready to be published, but since it does not give me a green mark as of now, you have to wait. Let me just refresh it. It's still not ready. So till then, anyone who wants to volunteer in, you know, <coughs> showing us their portfolio or showing us uh, how they have made a project or a folder, you can please uh, add your names over here. It's on first come uh, first come first of basis. We'll only have one person. If anyone wants to do that, do it. We can have it. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, so that has been deployed, and okay. So it says that okay, I should have added Angel Hacks photo over here. So sorry for that. So it says that hello, I'm Angel Hack based in USA, and if I click on this, it will take me to my own uh, uh, GitHub repository. Okay, so does anyone want to volunteer to share the screen and show their progress up till now? It's okay. If you get stuck, we'll be helping you with it. And no one's going to judge you. If, if anyone judges you, it simply means that, uh, you know, they themselves are losers. Anyone? Come on, it's not even that hard that you have to think over it for so long. No, no one. Okay, cool. <coughs> Never mind then. So, has anyone deployed their own portfolio? Please add your portfolio ka website over here so we can, you know, check your website. Has anyone done that? Yes, no, anything at least. Okay, I feel that the people are sleeping. Okay. What what we would host it some other things. Okay, Mujib, we would have loved to, but uh okay, what? Okay, fine. You can add any one of your website that is hosted, and we can see any one of your website that is hosted. Until then, uh, Yashodhan, is the second quiz ready? Yep, 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 it's ready. So we'll just wait for Mujib to add his uh, website and we get started with the quiz. All eyes on Mujib now. Mujib, we're waiting on you. Okay, so Mujib has added a clone website. Let us all see it. Let us see it. I could not 
copy that. This one working. It says that the sizes cannot be reached. Okay, fine, never mind, Muji. <clears throat> so, Yashodin, please uh, drop the link to the second quiz. So, the second quiz is basically on GitHub. <coughs> All the best people, and do let us know how the quiz was. <clears throat> okay, Mujib, will you yeah. that? Uh, please uh, you know, attempt the quiz first. Yes, anyone was speaking. No, 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 it was me only. Okay, cool. So all the best guys, you have another five minutes to attend this quiz. And exactly at 7.25, the quiz link will be closed by Yashodin. We don't have a lot of people with us from starting in 25. Amazing people, how was it? <coughs> okay, it was easy again. Good. Uh, 
Well, last one minute. <coughs> All right, people. So <clears throat> Yashodin has stopped the responses and we've got a good number of people answering the quiz for the second one. So can I have a good response again on how was the quiz and how was the session? I mean, how was the quiz first we'll go and then we can talk about the session. Is it easy, Slays, Mehim, okay, easily, right? <coughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So the quiz turned out to be quite easy and okay. Also, if like anyone after the session concludes, because I see a lot of people leaving now because of the time, uh, af af if after the session, anyone wants to, you know, share their portfolios, please do share them in the group so that, you know, people who did not join, who could not join us today for the session, know that, uh, you know, all, uh, these fun things uh, were conducted. All right, so if that's a yes from that side, please write with me, like WM. <coughs> Anyways, we come on to the end of the session right now, and I thank everyone for joining from 5.30. It's almost 7.30 right now, and I hope to see you all for the further sessions, which we plan to conduct in the Angel Hack. And if we happen to get more such good responses and more better responses from you all, since we have grown to a very large number in a very short span of time, we will be conducting more such sessions uh, under Angel Hack. And that is all from our side. I thank everyone for joining. And also the winners will soon be contacted on the group uh, for these uh, for the prizes that is being you know delivered from the team. It is not coming from Angel Hack. It is only to appreciate your efforts, and that is all. But as 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 my senior Harish has already said that uh, Angel Hack will uh, try giving swag. That will only come when you people uh, you know. <coughs> Driving more after. Thank you. Thank you.
मोस्ट वेलकम मोस्ट थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग